Hello, Body of Christ. This is John Jackson. And today's video, um, I feel God is waking up his church at this very hour in these last days. Um, he's teaching his church that the pre-tribulation rapture is a heresy. And today I am going to explain why it's a heresy. And I'm going to back up biblically that his church will go through the tribulation and how we have been deceived through the years. So first, I want to start off with a little history lesson about how this theory came about. Um, this theory is not ancient. <laughs> it's actually very new. It started in the 1800s from a man named John Nelson Darby. Um, John Nelson Darby, he is called the father of dispensation. Um, dispensation means uh, that you can uh, have special permission to change something. Um, <laughs> so what he did was he went to the Bible and thought in his mind that he could actually change up what the word says um, to fit his uh, specific time period. Um, <laughs> so John Nelson Darby, his teaching are heresy. So this is how we got the videos like Left Behind, the Left Behind series. It's all fitting his theory. It's not biblical. The Left Behind series is fictional. <laughs> it's like a novel. It is not biblically sound. Um, this is why we have to read the word of God, folks, because, um, you know, these heresies are really deceiving the world. It's actually coming from Satan. Yep. But um, now I want to get into what the Bible says that's going to happen in the end time. I am going to read straight from the word of God to show you that his saints, the body of Christ, will go through the great tribulation before his return. And we're going to start with Matthew chapter 24, verse 29 through 31. And it reads, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Mark 13, 24 through 27. It reads, but in those days after the tr that tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars of heaven will fall and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds, from the farthest part of the earth to the far farthest part of heaven. There it is again. That's confirming. Mark is confirming Matthew. <clears throat> so, so that's telling us that it's saying after those days, if you read Matthew chapter 24, um, the Lord, he, Jesus, he tells us, you know, what's going to be happening in these days, in the, in the tribulation. So he's preparing us to endure those days. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six through eight. And it reads, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation, those who trouble you. And to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's saying that, you know, God's going to repay people, the people who don't know him, who don't love him with tribulation. But it also says that his saints, the ones who are troubled, 
it says that we won't get our rest until the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven. And there's only one event in the Bible where Jesus is revealed from heaven. And that's when he comes to rapture his church. Now we're going to go to the book of Revelations. Revelations chapter 11, uh, where it talks about the two witnesses. Um, so God has revealed a new revelation um, that the, who the two witnesses are. I mean, it's actually in there. And um, I'm so proud of my brother, Jaron Lewis from the AOC Network to break it down for us. But now we know that the two witnesses are the two lampstands and the two olive trees, which represents um, the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Israel, the Jews and the Gentiles. And um, the two lampstands are um, the two types of churches, the church of Smyrna and the church of Philadelphia, which Jesus had no complaints about in Revelation chapter two and three. Um, these are the persecuted church and the faithful church. Um, so since that has been broken down, now we can go deeper into what this passage is saying. It's saying that his saints, we, the faithful and the persecuted are going to be warned against the Antichrist spirit in these days, in the tribulation. Um, so once we're battling uh, for the first uh, three and a half years, then the second three and a half years, the Antichrist, the beast, will rise and persecute and kill the believers, the two witnesses. But uh, what I want to point out to you is that um, in Revelation chapter 11, um, verse 11 through 13, on um, when it talks about the two witnesses resurrected and show you that this is the same thing that we just looked at in um, 2 Thessalonians, Mark and Matthew. Um, and it reads, now after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them. And they stood on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they ascended to the heaven in a cloud, and their enemies saw them. In the same hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. In the earthquake, seven thousand people were killed, and the rest were afraid and gave glory to the God of heaven. So there it is, y'all. Uh, this is just more detail of what's going to happen uh, when the Son of Man returns. So that heresy that, what's his name, John Nelson Darby uh, was proclaiming that the church is going to be raptured before all this happens is false and it's a lie from Satan. I tell you, the Lord is so good. The Holy Spirit is teaching his church. Um, I also want to point out this one thing uh, in Daniel um, that backs up uh, the verse in 2 Thessalonians 1, 6 through 8. Um, I'm reading from Daniel chapter 7, um, verses 21 through 22. It like ties in together. It parallels with it. Um, it says... I was watching and the same horn was making war against the saints and prevailing against them until the ancient of days came and judgment was made in favor of the saints of the most high. And the time came for the saints to possess the kingdom. Matter of fact, that parallels with uh, Revelation chapter 11 with the two witnesses. It's the same event, guys. Please understand that it's the same event. There's not going to be any uh, first rapture where the, where the church um, escapes all this tribulation. It's not. It's false. And I believe that it was a, a dis great deception from the enemy because this changes everything now. A lot of people are just like lackadaisical right now they're like hey we're about to be raptured we don't have to worry about anything um but no god told us to endure to endure tribulation 
So I don't see how, you know, Jesus' message is going to change. And nowhere in the Bible it says he's going to take us from the tribulation that's to come. He preaches to endure this tribulation. He actually tells us to die for him. <laughs> so, church, it's, this is an urgent message to wake up and prepare yourself for this tribulation that's to come. Prepare your children because we are in the last days. We can see it in the news, all this deception, lies from Satan, this demonic activity that's going on. Lawlessness. Wake up. Prepare yourself. If you're not prepared and all this comes on you, all of a sudden you're not going to be ready. And I pray that you don't give in to the mark of the beast because you did not prepare yourself. Please take this like God has put this on my heart to share with you guys. This is serious. I can't stand liars and Satan is the father of lies and he lied through John Nelson Darby. That's a true heresy and heres heresies, people who do heresies will not inherit the kingdom of God. It says that in the word. So take heed to this message, God's message. This is not even my message. This is the truth straight from the word. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself to die and meet the Lord. If somebody came and pointed a gun to your head and said, denounce Jesus, what do you want to do? Are you going to give in? No, please. I encourage you to take this seriously. Take this message seriously and start preparing yourself. Get rid of all the lies and heresies and go straight to the word of God. Go straight to the Bible. The Holy Spirit reveals all truth, not man. The Holy Spirit will reveal all truth that's in this book. And I promise you that God will make itself known to you. And you will know the truth and prepare yourself because we're not promised this world. This world will pass away. This is Satan's domain at the moment until our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes and makes his kingdom here and we will be ruling with him for a thousand years. That's, that's amazing. So prepare yourself for that. Prepare, body of Christ, prepare yourself. Embrace yourself because we are going through this tribulation according to the word of God.